Tonight, we can tell you more about the Marine charged with murder in Franklin County and whether he was in that RV, even as police searched and dismantled the vehicle. In fact, we have heard from Brown himself from inside the Western Virginia Regional Jail. It's been just short of a month since police searched Brown's RV in a church parking lot in the Grandin area of Roanoke. And yesterday in a 10 News exclusive, we broke the news that Brown was hiding in that vehicle the whole time. Michael Brown's RV, parked next to St. Elizabeth's Episcopal Church, is perhaps the most iconic symbol of the search for the missing Marine. Police cut the entire side off and then tore it apart, putting the pieces in a nearby dumpster. And yet, Brown, as confirmed to 10 News by numerous sources, including his attorney, was hidden inside the entire time. And tonight, we have confirmation from Brown himself. He contacted 10 News from the regional jail with the following statement, quote, as for the RV, I feel reluctant to talk about it as I'm a big supporter of police and I don't want to say anything that might be seen as embarrassing to any police department. I think they did as good a job as anyone could have done, and I don't fault them for not having found me. We still don't know where Brown could have been hiding in the vehicle, though sources say it was behind a cabinet and near the top. Sources also confirm Brown was still in the RV when it was towed from the church parking lot, where numerous media outlets, including 10 News, presented live broadcasts on November 14th, the night of a massive manhunt for Brown. The Franklin County Sheriff's Office, which is the lead agency in the Brown case, responded with a written statement today reading, We have been aware of that rumor since Brown was arrested. We have been investigating that information and cannot confirm that Brown was in the RV at the time. This is an ongoing criminal investigation, and we will continue to investigate any new information that becomes available. Brown's attorney tells 10 News that she will be meeting with him soon, and after that meeting, we may have additional information to pass along to you. To put all of this into perspective for you, Brown was caught on November the 27th in the attic of his mother's Franklin County home. That was nearly two weeks after the search in the Grandin area. The manhunt for him started on November the 9th when Brown allegedly shot and killed his mother's boyfriend, Rodney Brown, in that same home where he was eventually found. Before that, Brown was reported missing from his post at Camp Lejeune in mid-October.